My lord. Ah, Barbieri. What news? Another invention? Yes, my lord. The greatest yet. I suspect it as much. Very well, proceed. <laughs> ah, you've invented the wooden mouse. What's that need be doing? Oh, but this is no toy, my lord. Observe its secret. <laughs> A ball. A ball, my lord, which allows the device to track minutely and accurately every movement of one's hand. Very okay. good. Yes. And then? And then you can click on it. There you can. And what does that do? That helps the general effort. Oh, cheers. I'm not quite certain just yet, but... Uh... Oh, it's wireless. It's what? It doesn't have long, thin strands of metal coming out of it. Granted, but then you can say that about almost anything. No, but you see, something tells me that this sort of thing normally would do to help it communicate with the... with the... Yes? Ooh, it's on the tip of my mind. Some wondrous thing with which one could do almost anything. Some magical device. I... I, I can't quite see it, but, but I do see very clearly that it would need one of these. <laughs> We need a toy mouse with a ball in it. Yes, and some antivirus software. <laughs> what do almost any of those words mean? Anti means against. That was the one I knew. And the rest? I don't know. It was also clear this morning when I woke up and scribbled it all down, but now... Now I just think I've gone a bit mad. <laughs> I see. <laughs> Thank you, Marbieri. Um, I, I think this might be another candidate for my special cupboard. Along with the device for wiping clean a screen, which in as yet obscure circumstances would shield one from the wind. <laughs> the device for extracting food that has somehow become encased in metal. <laughs> and of course, the Sky Digibox. <laughs> Triumphs all. Ah, shame about the other place. Still, this looks nice. Yeah, and it's only for tonight. Hello, can you help me? Uh, can I help you? Uh, we were hoping to get a room for the night. Of course. Single or double? Uh, a double. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> How many are there of you? Two. <laughs> so there are. I'll put you in room three. <laughs> there may be a bit of sick on the floor, but it's OK, it's only mine. <laughs> it came out when I was trying to change the duvet. <laughs> if you'd like to follow me to your room, my wife will take your bags. Hello! I'm his wife! <laughs> Could, could you take could you take those bags up to, to room three or, or four? Whichever you can find. It's all right. I'm a man, really. <laughs> We're missing the army. <laughs> you, you've missed one. Another one? Oh, don't mind if I do. <laughs> Excellent. Here we go. Oh. Uh, these are some of the other guests. Oh! Don't bother introducing yourselves. They won't remember your names between you and me. They're all pissed. <laughs> Here's your key. You won't need it. A lot of our residents found getting the little key into the little hole a bit fiddly, so we've had all the doors removed. <laughs> this is the ensuite. English breakfast is ten pounds, or the Continental is free. Uh, what is the Continental? It's wine. <laughs> if you need reception, just star zero, or one, or four, or any of the numbers, really. It can be difficult to press one specific button. <laughs> Hope you have a lovely stay.
the sixth day, God created man and woman to have dominion over the animals. And on the seventh day, God rested. And on the eighth day, God rested. And on the ninth day, God rested. So he basically just rested. And then drowned everyone and invented the rainbow. And then rested. And that, Isaac, brings us pretty much up till now. Thanks, Dad. Wow, the Lord sounds smart. He is smart. Especially those first six days where he made everything, but also generally. Now, run along and play in the grid. Great. Bye. Abraham! Lord! Abraham! Not interrupting, am I? No, no, perfect timing. I was just telling my son about all the wonderful ideas you've had. Good, because Abraham, actually, I've had another one. <laughs> another idea? An idea from the Lord? Oh, please tell! Y yes, yes, I will. And. Okay, and do tell me if you think this is sort of, well, out of order, you know. What? Right. Well, my new idea is human sacrifice! What? You know, hu human sacrifice? I, I think you should kill someone. And I was thinking you should kill Ivan. Ivan? Ivan? Uh, Ivan? You, your, your son? Oh, Isaac! Isaac! I, I'm so sorry, it's Isaac, yes, Isaac. I, I, I think you should kill Isaac. So, what, what... What do you think? Brilliant! Really? Oh, yes, Lord, another winner. Ivan, rustle up a pyre, we're making a sacrifice. Ivan? I, I thought you said his name was... Oh, no. Ivan's a much better name, Lord. You were right. Oh, I can't wait to see the look on his face. <laughs> you're, you're sure you're fine with this? Absolutely. You, you would say? I would say what, Lord? Well, you, you know, if, if you thought I was asking you to do something, you know, wrong... If I thought it was wrong? <laughs> like I'd know. Like I have any chance of forming an independent basis of right and wrong outside the instructions of some supervisory being. No, Lord, I am your bitch. <laughs> yeah, OK, but... Finish the pie, Dad. Hello, Ivan. Where's the sacrifice? Oh, that's a good point. Where is it? Any ideas, Lord? <laughs> um... Oh, wait, I remember. It's there. What? Yes, Isaac, Ivan. The Lord's new idea is that I should sacrifice you. Me? Brilliant! Yes. On the fifth day, he invented the birds and the fish, and today he's invented me murdering my son. Another winner, Lord. You're certainly not tinkering with an already perfect creation like some giant see-through George Lucas. Hop on, Ivan. Um, oh. Oh. Here's a nice stabby bit of flint, Dad. No, um, hang on. <laughs> well done, Ivan. Right, brace yourself, lad. No, wait. Look, wait, wait. Yes, Lord? It... It, it was a test. <laughs> oh, a test. Oh, what another brilliant idea. He's so smart. Did we pass? Oh, you really passed, Ivan. <laughs> yes. Big tick. Great. Well, do let us know if you have any other brilliant ideas, Lord. Yes, I... Oh, uh, actually, wh while you have that flint handy, I, I did have another, um, idea. Yes? Well, what if you were to... Say if this is weird, but what if you were to cut off your son's... Oh, what's it called? I can't think of the name. The skin around the... Oh, I'll get back to you. <laughs> OK. Can't wait. <laughs> Zero, zero, one, one, zero, zero. Beg pardon, sir? That's hello in computer, Hennemore. I'm very excited about taking our first step into the space age. This could revolutionise how quickly we work out our payroll here at Tempranillo Gaps. Now, the most important thing to remember is blah, 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 Clear? 10110, sir. Don't tell me to fuck off anymore. <laughs> That's me, sir. On an unrelated note, blah, 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 Russian delegation, blah, 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 here at four, blah, 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 bl
blah, 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 blah. These state secrets about nuclear warheads. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, no, 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 don't read that! Don't read that! Idiot! Idiot! No, 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 no! Blah, 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 lobster festival. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Espionage. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and this time, I don't want any screw-ups. Is that clear? Um... <laughs> Dosvidaniya! 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 Well, that went off without a hitch anymore. Well done. Thank you, sir. Hi, everyone. Uh, well, we're about a third of the way into episode six of the series. Uh, hope you've enjoyed what you've seen so far. But I'm afraid the money has now run out. <laughs> uh, episode six used to be paid for by DVD sales, and unfortunately they've gone through the floor in the last year or so because of YouTube and torrenting, which, which are great for the viewer, obviously, because particularly with a sketch show, all the items can be up on YouTube pretty much as soon as they've been broadcast, so wh why would you buy a DVD? <laughs> you would, um, you'd have to be, you know... Honest. <laughs> so, uh, as I say, great for the viewer and or casual criminal. Uh, <laughs> not such a boon for the programme makers. But uh, Rob and I are, as ever, really excited by new media challenges. Uh, onwards and upwards. Uh, you, you may have heard that the BBC is selling these studios, so we look forward to many years of making a load of crap with a camcorder. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I I'm excited by Dave. I'm, I'm not one of the naysayers. <laughs> Uh, I mean, it, it's no BBC Three, but you can't have everything. Uh, you, you may be wondering where Robert is. Uh, obviously, that's a budgetary thing. We can only afford one of us from now on. So, uh, as I say, it, it is pretty much dross from here on in. <laughs> oh. <laughs> there he goes. Um, where, where are you off to, Robert? Uh, I thought I might try and flog some of these peep show box sets down the pub. <laughs> we used to get them free. <laughs> Yes, yes, we did. We, we used to get them free. <laughs> H happier times. Uh, you, you, you've probably noticed that, that that was a bit of a Morecambe and Wise reference. Uh, those are the days. <laughs> those are the days. <laughs> the lights are going out all over television. <laughs> We shall not see them lit again in our lifetime. <laughs> <laughs>
we'll be lulling you into sofary oblivion with, among other things, all the establishing shots from ITV's Kingdom. <laughs> but without anything as jolting as the plot. <laughs> Vickers walking across lawns. <laughs> Some pretty objects from the Antiques Roadshow. But instead of the stress of hearing what things are worth, we've just dubbed it over with the phrase, enough money to last forever. So you should look to insure it for... Enough money to last forever. <laughs> A crossword being filled in with the names of characters from Dad's Army. <laughs> and then smeared with delicious jam. <laughs> and exclusive footage of a beefeater being hosed down with cream. Oh, lovely! I'll just turn round so you can do my back. So sit back, stifle a horseradishy fart with a chintzy cushion, and immerse yourself in the audiovisual equivalent of a hot bath of cake. <laughs> I don't know if I've got the energy to keep fighting the robots now. That Sunday Sensation Chill Out. Brought to you by your robot masters. Nice cup of tea, puny humans. Come and sit down, Alison and Peter. This is a very exciting moment for me. I'm just blown away to be in the same room as the two people who came up with my most favourite show of all time. Number one. Now, let me introduce you to my team. Disabled ethnic teenage pufter and woman. Don't talk to them, they're just here to tick boxes. And you know what? None of them went to Oxford. I love diversity. I went to Oxford. Sorry, what I meant to say is I didn't go to Oxford. I did! So it's fantastic to have you both here, Alison and Peter. Amanda, get these guys some drugs. Amanda went to Oxford too, by which I mean Amanda didn't go to Oxford either. So, one question. How the hell did you ever come up with number wang? Well, Peter, um... I don't want to know. Please don't tell me. Great story, I'm not interested. No, I'm not going to pretend to understand the creative process. Because I don't understand the creative process and because I don't know how to pretend. But we're all agreed that number wang has been off our screens for far too long. So I want you to have a look at this. This is a picture of a hot woman who let me touch her boob once. Yes! <laughs> Don't look at the box tickers. You see that ethnic one? He'll be the head of news one day if we let him, which we won't. Now, here's a list of the kind of people that watch the sort of programmes that we make. Oh, your demographics. I don't like to use that word, Alison, because I don't know what it means. <laughs> now, the sort of person who watched Number One was old, weird, had a hat, smelled and were Belgian, which is brilliant in a way that is awful. But nowadays, we're about appealing to a different kind of audience, an audience that is young, diverse, youngly diverse, diversely young, ethnically youthful and homosexually young. And we think that that audience wants us to bring back Number One in a way that retains all of its original features, but it's basically like skins. <laughs> well, we've got this proposal. Peter, I don't want to read your proposal. I'm not going to read it. I can't read it. I don't know how to read. I used to know how to read, but when I took this job, they burnt out a large part of my brain with a hot wire. So answer me this question in two words. Can you make the program yes, yes or no, no? No, no, we don't want to make it. That's fantastic! Here's some money. I want it by the beginning of next month. And remember, young, young, youthy, young, teenagers, young people, youth some teenager youngness, and above all, number one. Do it, make it now. Make me the new number one. Go and make the new number one. Bring me the new number one. Do it, number one, number one, number one, number one. Amanda, can you get me some new pants in here, please? I think I may have pissed myself and cum at the same time. I think there might be a documentary in it. <laughs> From the people who brought you Glucosate Port and Pika's Crests comes Marmite. All the great taste of Marmite in a glove. <laughs> this glove tastes of Marmite. <laughs> Are you all right? No, I just tried to eat a glove. <laughs> Marmite. It's the great Marmite tasting glove that's not suitable for human consumption. <laughs> I think he's dead. <laughs> Dear brother Philip, you look so thin. Thank you for coming, Arthur. Your brother is to be executed tonight. You have half an hour, then you must leave. But that's barbaric! How
how am I supposed to say all I need to say to my dear, innocent brother in half an hour? Only half an hour? I know. It's terrible. We have so much to say to each other, my dear brother. Yes. Yes, we do. <laughs> and, and so little time. Yeah. How is mother? Fine. Good. And father? Still dead. And little Dorothy? Fine. Yes, everyone's fine. We're all good. Thanks. I mean, re really upset that you're getting executed, but that, that goes without saying. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Just 29 minutes left. I know. Oh, yes. Any trouble getting here? No. <laughs> so, so much to say. <laughs> Thanks for being such a great brother. Oh, you're welcome, and, and likewise. Thanks. And, um... <laughs> Just 28 and a half minutes left. <laughs> still so much to say. Yeah. Thanks for being a great brother. Thanks for getting executed. I'm fine. Yeah, I'm just trying to think. Um, I, I think that's it. Right, yeah. Right. And actually, it didn't take as long as I thought. No. <laughs> Yes. 